my name is Liddell Heimer. I am a pastry chef and owner of DJ Sweet Kitchen here in Branson, Missouri. And I've decided to go ahead and make short videos of some of my recipes that I sell or that I've judged in competition over the years. I have been baking for about 15, 20 years. I just recently decided to go back to culinary school. And I graduated culinary school back in Oklahoma uh, last year. And so this is my, this is new. I'm not used to making videos. This is the first time I'll be on TV. So bear with me when my future videos that I sound or act a little weird because obviously that's what we are. I love to cook and I love to bake. And so I'm just trying to do a new avenue here of besides working here in Branson. I also do another job. I work at the Big Cedar Lodge resort here in Branson to gain more experience and so that way I can have and be with other people who love to cook and bake but obviously I'm not Big Cedar Lodge is not promoting this or anything like that so just bear with me it's just me doing this on my own and on my own business on my business I specialize in vegan and gluten-free baking and so and any special diets I also can make regular um, products like candies breads but I can also do vegan and gluten-free versions of the same ones so I'm just introducing myself and hello to everybody out in the video world and the internet because this is the best way to do it because I started doing this because Everybody, the whole virus thing, everybody's been quarantined, everybody's sick at home, and I basically just got bored, and so I decided to branch out. Okay, right, so, everyone, and have a good day. Hello, my name is Jeff Heimer, and I know you guys are all in quarantine, just like the rest of us, so I decided to make some of my recipes that I have had about, I've won a few competitions with, and so I decided to make, today we're going to make blackberry caramel sauce. Of course, first we need to make the blackberry syrup. So, you guys get a, just a regular saucepan on the stove on a medium heat. We will take two cups of blackberries and we'll put them in our pan. We will take uh, some sliced lemons, doesn't matter how many you got, I usually just use one. And we'll put them in also. Now we'll take a quarter cup of brown sugar and a quarter cup of white sugar. We also toss that in there. We will take a teaspoon of vanilla. We will take one cinnamon stick. And then of course we will get a half a cup of water with also a quarter cup of dark rum. Doesn't matter any kind of rum you like. Doesn't matter if it's uh, your favorite flavor or it's something you like to drink. So, and then we will put it on the stove and we'll and we'll let it simmer for about 30 minutes, stirring occasionally to get our syrup. Sorry, forgot my water. So, and we'll just let it go. And basically what's going to happen, it's going to thicken and the blackberries are going to soften up. You can use either frozen or fresh. I tend to use fresh, makes the best syrup, but frozen's fine too. So you'll just let that go over medium heat for about 30 minutes. And then it'll turn into, and then after you move, after the 30 minutes, you will move it from heat. And then we're gonna strain it into a bowl if you're gonna keep your syrup in to let it cool. And then of course, once it's done, it will look like this, real thick and valiant purple or blue, I guess, whatever color black is supposed to be. And of course, this is what we're going to get our flavor in our caramel sauce. So next, we'll be incorporating this into the caramel sauce. Hello again. So now we're going to finish our blackberry caramel sauce. Last, earlier we made blackberry syrup. And so now we're gonna do the caramel sauce. So you take a pretty heavy bottom saucepan and we're going to put it over a medium high heat 
We're gonna add a cup of sugar. We're gonna add in a half a cup of corn syrup. You can either use light or dark. It won't make any difference. The only difference is if you use dark, it will look a little darker than it normally would. And then we are going to add in a cup of heavy cream. Three tablespoons of butter. I use, you can use any butter. If you do use salted butter, you will have to take the salt out of this recipe. I use unsalted. And then add in a tablespoon of salt. Any kind of salt works. And then we're gonna add in our half a cup of our cooled blackberry syrup that we made. Now what we're going to do is we're going to stir all this up. And get it all combined. Now what we're looking for is we'll have, you'll, you can stir it all the way up until all the butter is melted. Once the butter has been incorporated and melted, then we need to stop stirring and then we'll let it boil for about, mm, it takes 20, 30 minutes. But what we're looking for is a temperature of 226 to 230. Because we don't want candy, we want actual sauce that's pourable. Now, obviously when it cools, it's going to get a little thicker as it cools. If you don't have a thermometer, I obviously use one of these laser thermometers, but you can use any thermometer, candy thermometer, or anything. If you use a candy thermometer, put the candy thermometer in after the butter has been melted. And it usually takes in between about 30, 25 to 30 minutes. Now how you can check it without a thermometer is you can also do the, like if you make candy, take a water test and you're looking for a soft, crack. So but the easiest way without doing any of this test is when you watch this boil, all the bubbles that will appear will be really big and they'll just pop faster. As it thickens and cooks longer, all those bubbles will start to get smaller and they won't pop as fast when you're boiling all the water. Basically what we're doing is evaporating all the water out of this uh, dish. And then when it's done, it's going to look like caramel sauce. So here it is. I had to reheat it because once you cool it, you leave it in the refrigerator, you have to take it back out and reheat it, either in the microwave or put it back in the stove. And so basically, it is a pourable sauce. So you can use this for anything that you want to top. Most people use this for ice cream. And so I basically made cinnamon ice cream, cinnamon vanilla actually, and then I'm going to use this as my topping for this dessert. And it pours out just like it would, just any of that, but you get the hint of blackberries, which a lot of people enjoy. You can also use this for any toppings for any kind of cake. So I made a double spoon chocolate cake, and so you can basically just use this as a glaze or topping for your cakes instead of using a heavy frosting and chocolate and blackberries do very well together so that is all for this so that is the blackberry caramel sauce i will post the recipe at the bottom of this video for everybody and so basically you all have a good day so this is chef heimer from dj sweet kitchen and y'all have a good day thank you